Hello everyone. I'm going to show you uh, about how to create an appointment page in Google Calendar. So basically what this is for is if you have a chunk of time, so in this case let's just say I have from uh, 4.30 to let's say 6.30 p.m. You go to your Google Calendar and you highlight a chunk of time and then what you want to do with this is you want to break it into um, chunks. So if I wanted to have appointment slots for 15 minutes during that time, 10 minutes, whatever it is, um, I could then have people sign up for those slots in that two hour period. So I went ahead and I'm going to go to appointment slots. So when I go to appointment slots, um, you're going to go ahead and go to name it. So this, in this case, we'll, I'll just call it NeoHelp. So I want to have teachers come in and get NeoHelp which they're likely to do at 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. Go to Edit Details, and what you can see is you can see over here, um, I have the time block, 4.30 to 6.30, and then I'm going to offer uh, slots of, and in this case, I only want to do, um, let's say, 10-minute slots. I have a lot of people. And then you can put in the where. So if I put in the where, I can say the uh, tech coach office and you can put details there and then all you have to do is you can either um, copy this link right here so if I go ahead and copy this you can embed this right into an email and send it off to the people that you want to um, send it to and then they can sign up for your 10 minute slot so all you have to do is hit save and then you can see it come up on your calendar right here. And you'll see this one above. It's an example. I did one for um, another event. And you can see that a couple of people, one signed up for 115, 130. This was 15 minute time slots. But now you have people that signed up and you can see who it is. If you click on the event, I can see that Helen actually signed up for my 115 to 130 time slot. And then you have it all signed up with you without you having to play ping pong to negotiate the best time to meet with people. So I hope you find this useful. And if you have any questions, please contact your tech coach. All right.